Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe the structure of benzene. You should then be able to describe the evidence supporting this structure. Benzene belongs to a group of molecules called aromatic compounds or arenes, and benzene has the molecular formula C6H6. I'm showing you the symbols for benzene here. When benzene was first discovered, scientists suggested several possible structures. Friedrich Kekulé suggested a ring structure with alternating single and double bonds. An alternative name for this structure would be cyclohexa 135 triene. Kekulé's structure turned out to be incorrect, and you need to be able to explain the evidence which showed that. Firstly, if benzene consisted of alternating single and double bonds, then it would react like a typical alkene. Alkenes react by electrophilic addition such as the reaction between ethene and bromine, which I'm showing here. This reaction is the basis of the bromine water test for alkenes, which we saw in year 12. Benzene does not carry out electrophilic addition, and benzene does not give a positive test for alkenes with bromine water. So this tells us that benzene does not contain double bonds. Secondly, we can use X-ray diffraction to measure the lengths of chemical bonds. This tells us that single carbon to carbon bonds are longer than double carbon to carbon bonds. However, in benzene, the carbon to carbon bonds are all the same length, and this length is between a carbon to carbon double bond and a carbon to carbon single bond, again supporting the idea that Kekulé's structure is incorrect. The third line of evidence involves the enthalpy change of hydrogenation. I'm showing you here the cyclic alkene cyclohexene. We can hydrogenate cyclohexene, adding hydrogen across a double bond to form cyclohexane. If we measure the enthalpy change of this hydrogenation reaction, we get the value of minus 120 kilojoules per mole. We can also hydrogenate benzene and measure the enthalpy change of this reaction. Now, if benzene did have the cyclohexa 135 triene structure, then we would expect the enthalpy change to be three times that for cyclohexene. In other words, the expected enthalpy change of hydrogenation of benzene would be minus 360 kilojoules per mole. However, the measured enthalpy change of hydrogenation of benzene is actually minus 208 kilojoules per mole. So this means that the actual structure of benzene is more stable than Kekulé's proposed structure. Okay, so reactivity, bond lengths, and enthalpy change of hydrogenation all support the idea that Kekulé's structure for benzene is incorrect. But there's also a fourth line of evidence. If Kekulé's structure was correct, then we should be able to make two isomers of 1,2-dibromobenzene. Isomer 1 has a bromine atom on either side of the double bond between two carbon atoms, whereas isomer 2 has a bromine atom on either side of the single bond between two carbon atoms. However, these two isomers cannot be made, showing that Kekulé's structure is incorrect. Scientists now accept the delocalized model of benzene structure. Benzene is a planar hydrocarbon, with six carbon atoms arranged into a cyclic structure, and all the bond angles in benzene are 120 degrees. Remember that carbon atoms have four bonding electrons. Each carbon atom uses three of these electrons to form sigma bonds with the adjacent carbon atoms and the hydrogen atom. The remaining electron on each carbon atom is in a p orbital, which projects above and below the plane of the ring. These p orbitals now overlap sideways and form a ring of electron density above and below the ring of carbon atoms. Scientists say that the electrons are delocalized and form pi bonds spread around the ring of carbon atoms. Now this pi bonding system of delocalized electrons is extremely stable. What that means is that when benzene reacts, this pi bonding system of delocalized electrons is maintained. And for this reason, when benzene reacts, it undergoes electrophilic substitution. And we'll be looking at electrophilic substitution in detail in later videos. In the next video, we look at how to name aromatic compounds.